Hey everyone, a big welcome back to the Sound Museum, the music podcast here on YouTube. We are celebrating Kylie Minogue this week. It's been 35 years since her debut album Kylie was released in Australia. And I've got my copy right here, the original, the OG copy from 1988. I am, I remember buying this at my local record shop. I was living in Auckland, New Zealand at the time, and I remember buying this from my record shop, and I kept going in there to ask when it's going to be released, and finally I got my copy, which I'm so, I was so pleased about, and I played it to death. And so this, this podcast episode is basically about me revisiting this era, or the vinyl, the CDs, the cassettes, the magazine footage. So if you've listened to this week's podcast, which I hope you have, if you haven't, the link is in the bio to this video. But it's basically celebrating 35 years of the debut album released 35 years ago this week in Australia. So let's get started in celebrating this amazing album. So this is the album. But before we get to the album, we need to actually talk about the first single from the album, which is The Locomotion. And I vaguely remember buying this in Auckland City back in the day. This is the 12 inch vinyl. This is the back. And back in the day, I'm sure you can relate to this if you are a certain age. But back in the day, your pocket money didn't really go that far. So you had to sort of budget as to, do I get the 12 inch? Do I get the single? What do I get? Um, you had all the magazines to buy. So your pocket money only went so far. So, but back in the day, I did manage to get the 12 inch, which is that. And I got the 12 inch because it had the remixes on the vinyl which is the chugger motion mix and the girl meets boy mix on this vinyl plus a b-side which is glad to be alive so let's just open up the vinyl this is the original mushroom pressing of the 12 inch vinyl love that one and as i just mentioned before the single um, I survived these a lot because they were a lot cheaper. <laughs> but the single back in the day, this one had all the remixes on it as well. So on one side it had the single version, the remixes, and Glad to be Alive, all on this little single. I miss singles. I love singles. Such a great thing. And a little red cassette back in the day. And this one even had a little pull-up poster which is the uh, little, pin, little pin up. So that is the original single of the debut single from Kylie, Locomotion. And that was released in Australia in 1987. And we got that in New Zealand, I think it was about August, we got the single released in New Zealand. And at that time, New Zealand did not have Neighbours. So when Kylie released Locomotion as a single, we had no idea about Neighbours. We'd never got Neighbours until probably late 88, early 89. So it was quite some time um, before we actually got to experience Kylie in Neighbours as Charlene. So when she, when this got released back in the day in New Zealand, we had Kylie as a singer. She was, you know, she had no pre preconceived expectations from the TV show. We all knew Kylie as just Kylie the singer, the new singer from Australia. So that is my original version of the first single, Locomotion. And the second single was obviously I Should Be So Lucky, which I used to have on vinyl. But if you could revert back in time and just do things differently. I really regret selling my vinyl back in the day because everything was coming out on CD and everything like that. So I sold a lot of my vinyl in the late 90s. I was really, really pissed off. But anyway, so I used to have the 12 inch of I Should Be So Lucky. I don't anymore, unfortunately. But um, 
yeah, so I was really, really pissed off I didn't get to keep that. But I did get the 12 inch of the third single, which was Got To Be Certain. And this one has obviously the 7 inch single, a couple of the remixes on this as well. That's the back cover. This is the Australian version, the Australian pressing from Mushroom Records. And for some reason, I have got two of these. I think I got one in a secondhand um, store many years ago, but I've got two of these on vinyl. And I've also got the seven inch single of I've Got To Be Certain. And on the B side is the instrumental. That is the Mushroom Vinyl Pressing. The Kylie's third single from the debut album, Kylie. Now, um, the next single from the album was this one, which is Je ne sais pas pourquoi, which if you've seen the video online, <clears throat> that basically means I don't know why in French. I, didn't, I wasn't good at French at school, but um, in New Zealand and, and Australia, we got the title I Still Love You, Je ne sais pas pourquoi. Probably because we couldn't speak French down under. I don't know. Anyway, that is the OG version of Je ne sais pas pourquoi. That's the back cover there. And this is the record. Now, on this one, we have the a remix on side A. And we have a Made in Heaven, a Made in England mix on side B. So that is that one. And I also got the seven inch of this one because on the B side, it had the seven inch of Made in Heaven, which is not on the vinyl. Hence I got both. But back in the day, um, I would often need to choose, okay, do I get the seven inch vinyl or the 12 inch vinyl, depending on my finances at that time, because pocket money, was scarce back in the 80s. So that is the seven inch single of I Still Love You, Je ne sais pas pourquoi. And I did have a copy of the very, very rare single of It's No Secret, which only got a release in the US, Canada, Japan, and New Zealand back in the day. And I sold Again, I will get this decision, but I sold my 7-inch vinyl um, probably in the early 2000s on eBay for about $600, I remember, because I needed the money. I was, I was going through a bit of a rough patch, so you did what you had to do back in the day. But I did have this 7-inch vinyl of It's No Secret. I didn't have the 12-inch, but I had the 7-inch vinyl. Now, of course, we um, this is the actual album. So let's just have a closer look on the back cover, which is there. This is the OG version back in the day, and it's in pretty good condition, actually. This is the inner. There we go. That's it there, and if we open up, I haven't played this in years. I should actually play this, but this is the original mushroom pressing for Kylie's album, Kylie's debut album, Kylie, from 19... 88. So that is the album that we're celebrating today in the podcast. Now, a few um, also, oh, that's my cassette that's fell on the floor. Anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, this is the CD version. I got this in, I think it was maybe in the early 90s when I got a CD player, and I got this mushroom CD. And it's probably a repress because this is the actual CD and um, I got this on CD because I wanted to, it was CDs were coming in and I wanted to get everything on CD so this is a booklet of the first album it's quite cool it's basically a condensed version of what was on the actual record but here we go that is the booklet for the CD version of Kylie's debut album Kylie and, of course, back in the day, we used to get these things called a videotape. <laughs> and this was the Kylie Collection. Late in 1988, they actually reissued the album. Again, I used to have it on vinyl, this big 
double album on record but i sold it back in the day but anyway that had the album and remixes on the second disc but i do but i did keep my my original video from back in the day which is the video collection basically has all the videos from the first album we've got i should be so lucky got to be certain locomotion je ne sais pas pourquoi it's no secret made in heaven Behind the scenes footage. I used to love getting these videos back in the day. It was only about half an hour, but that was really good. And this is the actual OG VCR tape from back in the day. That is my OG copy of Kylie, the video collection. And when I got um, a computer and everything, and I got a, a DVD burner back in the day, I made my own copy on DVD. <laughs> So this is that, and um, I actually also put the second Kylie video on as well, because you could put so much more on a DVD, I made my own. So that was a homemade version of that, basically ripped from that. <laughs> So yeah, back in the day, I loved buying videotapes. I actually miss these little um, collections used to get. Um, used to get them also on DVD, but obviously DVDs are, are long gone, even though I still get the occasional DVD um, or Blu-ray, especially if it's a movie or a concert I really want on DVD or Blu-ray. And also a few years ago, this got released from Cherry Red Records, which is amazing, this box set. Absolutely love this. And this is the vinyl and CD DVD pack, which was incredible. This huge box set, I remember getting all four when they arrived and they were so heavy. I went to the post office and I carried them back to my apartment. But um, it's such a beautifully presented box set. And this is the, let's do a bit of an unboxing of this one because this is really cool. This is the vinyl. That's the front and that's the back. Um, and basically um, it's got this beautiful black inner. And when you open it up, it has got, oops, the vinyl, which is a picture disc. Beautiful. So that is part of the Cherry Red reissue. Oh, I think it was back in 2000, 2009, I think it was. Quite some years ago, but I've got that. And aside from that, we also got this poster, which is basically a replica of the album, I believe. Maybe not. Oh, it's not. Hopefully we can see this. Can we see the poster? There we go. That's the poster there. That's the poster from the, the issue from this humongous box set, which is so beautiful. I really love this one. And it also came with this really cool booklet as well, which is a nice sort of booklet. That's the back. And in the booklet, it's got so much in this. It's got photos. It's got liner notes. It's got lyrics such a good booklet and really worth the money in this box set and once we get into the actual box set there is this pack which is the cd and dvd pack and this also has some postcards in it which is really cool so the postcards are as follows that one really weird pictures i've chosen because this one here is quite bizarre uh, this one's not too bad. And there's this one. This one. This one. Yeah, so a lot of the photos are quite haven't seen before, which is probably why they chose them. But um, the actual CD and DVD, basically this is the first CD. And when you open it, it just is basically that. It's on the black CD. And this is the second 
disc, which is basically remixes and B sides. And we open up this one. It is on white because the case is black. And the actual DVD has all the videos, some performances from Chop the Pops. And that is on the white DVD as well. So that is the CD and DVD pack in the box set of the reissue from Cherry Red Records. And if I really hope they actually reissue those again because they're really, really good box sets. Well worth the money. And I've got all of them from the first four albums from Kylie, from her PWL years, Stuck Aiken Waterman years. So I've got all those on this beautiful box set, which is there. And it's a really hardcover box set as well. So really pleased I managed to get that. I just put that down there. And um, I thought as well, I would also go through, oh, here, there's also this one as well. This is the CD version, which I also got because it's a different sort of packaging. And this is again, really cool. It's got a really, really good booklet. And basically um, what was in the actual big box set. So you've got these ones in here as well. So that is the CD and DVD version, the smaller version of that. And I also thought while I was going through all my collection from 1988, I remember back in the day I was at school and <clears throat> I remember actually doing a, a school project on Kylie and she had not even released Got To Be Certain yet. So this was only after she released Locomotion and I should be so lucky. So I thought I would do a school project on your favorite singer or band. And I chose Kylie. <laughs> and this is my school project. I thought I'll show you because this is, this is from 1988. There we go, my original school project. I was in form 3TH back in the day. So I was like, 13, 14, 13 I was. And I mean, back in the day, everything was on paper. There was no computers back then. So we basically did what we had to do pretty much. And which, you know, you had your felt tip pens, you did like the whole borders and stuff. And this is my, my project. Isn't that cool? So I basically talked about her personal file, her name and her when she was born and her acting career and stuff and I found photos and pictures from the magazines like smash hits and number one magazine and everything and I posted pictures of Kylie and neighbors with the wedding which at this point we had never seen because we never got neighbors but um, here I was putting these pictures in and of course, Kylie and the Henderson Kids. Remember that show? I used to love the Henderson Kids. Love that show. Such a brilliant Aussie show. And Nadine Garner, incredible actress, has gone on to have an incredible career on screen as well. So um, a great starting point for Kylie and Nadine back in the day. That was filmed in like 1985, I think. So just before Neighbours. And um, yeah, so this is... My school project, a bit of a shot from I Should Be So Lucky. Um, and questions and stuff. And in here, I actually, um, I put some questions and answers. And the question I put was, what sort of music does Kylie Minogue play? And, I, and my answer was, Kylie's first two singles are both danceable danceable songs <laughs> it's too early to tell you though um it's too early to have tell you though and the second question was what what are her songs mainly about and my answer was <laughs> locomotion is about doing the locomotion and i should be so lucky is that she is lucky to have someone like in the video or it could be that she is lucky to have a successful career so far. <laughs> God. 
Um, and then I, and the other question was, do you like her music? And I said, I like all danceable music. Danceable must have been a word back then. I love all danceable music because I just like it. <laughs> In other words, I like top 40 pop music. There we go. That was my answers to the question. And another thing that I, um, I put on here, um, somewhere I, I put in this project, um, oh, here we go. Because you had to put, back in the day when you do doing school projects, you had to put on the actual project where you got the information from. And I said information from number one, smash hits, and Shape magazine, which is like RTR Countdown. It's like a New Zealand music magazine. So that was my Wikipedia, I guess, back in the day of doing my little project. And I also put on here, which is that this is actually quite cute. And I was probably onto something back in the day because I had an inkling that this is going to happen. And I quote from my project, Although Kylie is a new singer, she looks very promising to make it very big everywhere in the world. Kylie will release her debut album in July and her new single should be out soon. It's a ballad called Got To Be Certain. I'm not sure we got the word ballad from, but anyway, um, for that project, I got 17 out of 20, which was fantastic. And my teacher said, very good effort, Leonard, well presented. Because back in the day, I was called Leonard. But then I went to Europe in 1998, around the time of Titanic. And of course, Leo DiCaprio was everywhere, so I became Leo. That's the story. Anyway, that's my school project. Hope you enjoyed that. And I also, back in the day... I remember buying these magazines back in the day. So I've got quite a few of these here to show you. So back in the day, you used to get these fancy magazines like this, which did fold out into a poster. So this is the inside here, and it folds out to this huge poster, which is basically ugh, that one. So I used to get these when I could afford it back in the day. And these were actually really expensive. This was like $5 or something. So these were quite pricey back in the day. So I got a few of these. This is another one I got here. And these are really cool. These are like sort of, look at that one. What a poster. <laughs> so, and I also remember getting this magazine. Now, this magazine here was not released in New Zealand. It was only was in Australia. So a friend of mine from school had this and I wanted it. So we did a swap. <laughs> so I had something that she wanted and I wanted this. So I got the book, uh, which is amazing. And this is a really, really cool book about Kylie's life and being on Neighbours and being on the Henderson Kids. Really, really cool book from 1988. And another cool little magazine. Again, this used to come out a few times a year. This one here. In fact, this one I've got two copies of. So, yeah. And of course, back in the day, you used to get all the magazines and my favourites were Number One and Smash Hits magazines. And I used to get all the posters from the magazines. And this one is a poster of the wedding, which we remember that from 1987. Another poster here with the lovely Jason on the flip side. And in the magazines, you used to get the lyrics to the songs, which is always cool because, you know, walking home from school, you didn't obviously have, you may have had a Walkman back in the day. I couldn't afford one, but um, you used to play the songs and sing away to them on your way home from school with your girlfriends and boyfriends and things. So I used to love getting these posters. Uh, I had heaps on my wall back in the day and... 
This one here is from the It's No Secret video. And what else do we have here? This is a video, well, oh, this is the cover of Genesee Park. And this poster was from a New Zealand magazine called Shake back in the day, back in the 80s, it's called Shake. We used to quite a few of them. We used to get Shake magazine and RTR Countdown, which was basically the magazine version of the chart show called RTR Countdown. So again, heaps of posters from my walls. So I've been collecting these for years. So such great memories. I really hope you've enjoyed going through with me and celebrating the debut album from Kylie, called Kylie, from 1988. And I really hope you enjoy the podcast because the podcast is like a extension of this video. So I hope you enjoyed the podcast as well, which goes into more detail about the album, the early days of Kylie's career on TV, the chart positions, everything to do with this album is on the podcast. And you can listen to that anytime you like on your favorite podcast provider. And I'll leave some links below in the show notes for this video. But thank you so much for watching my ramblings about Kylie. I really hope you enjoyed um, going through my collection with me. It's been quite a few years since I've seen most of the stuff. So I really hope you've enjoyed going through my collection with me and celebrating 35 years of this debut album from Kylie. She is still killing it worldwide. Of course, Padam Padam is everywhere. It's just going crazy all over the world. Not bad for a former soap star turned pop star. And, you know, as I say, a year in pop is a lifetime. 35 years in pop music. Iconic. Iconic status. She is an icon of music. Such an inspiration for, for me and for many other, for millions of others worldwide. And so many artists now are, are realising that how much Kylie has inspired them. People like Julipa and Ariana Grande. So, yeah. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure you subscribe to the podcast, um, to the, well, subscribe to the podcast. And also subscribe to this video channel, the Sound Museum YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment, leave some hearts. We greatly appreciate that. And um, yeah, thank you again for listening and for watching. And I will see you in the next video. And of course, you can download this podcast from all your podcast providers, Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere you get your podcasts. Enjoy. 35 years of Kylie Minogue's debut album, Kylie.